Hey, what's going on everybody? Jake the Happy Snake here and welcome back to Jake Wants to Be a Millionaire. Yesterday was really frustrating. I made it to the 36,000 euro question and I still had two lifelines left. I had the phone a friend and the 50-50 and I got that question where the four choices are really small and it didn't help that I couldn't understand the four choices anyways. So it was like a double whammy. So I figured I might as well just use my last two lifelines. So I phoned a friend, the phone a friend said it was C and then I used the 50-50 and it left C and A. So I figured it's gotta be C. And of course, the correct answer was A. So yeah, it seemed like somebody was literally behind that question trying to make me lose. It was so frustrating. I won 24,000 euro for the third episode in a row. That's all I've won this week. I've won 72,000 euro uh, so far th throughout like this, this entire week, like all together. And it was just, it was so frustrating. Like it was just stupid. So yeah, 24,000 euro converted to $24,000. That brought my overall total to $38,652,820. I am hoping for a better result today. Please and thank you. Preferably something more than 24,000 euro. Oh boy. All right, let's do this. Okay, here's the first question for 100 euro. That would be C, final answer. All right, 100 euro. Next question's for 200. Uh, green is not a primary color. Here we go. 200 euro. Now going for 300. Uh, Mario. All right. Three hundred. Next question is for five hundred. B. Okay, perfect. And now, for 1,000. It's important to get this one right. Uh, this would be C, and this is actually kind of funny. This is a question. I was just talking about questions that have like, the, the choices are really small. I'm not sure that's a glitch in the game or what. But this is actually, uh, it, it, when I get this question in English, the four choices are really small. It's kind of interesting, but it is C. There we go, that is a thousand euro and that is guaranteed. All right. Perfect. 10 away from the million, all four left ones still intact. Here we go now for 2,000 euro. I'm gonna play the safe and I'm gonna ask the audience. I would say D, but it might be A, it might be C, I don't know. C, 59% say C, so I'm, I, that, that's actually good because I was really close with, to going with D. C, final answer. There we go. All right. That is 2,000 euro. Next question is for 4,000. Three lifelines left. This would be Captain America. All right. Okay, 4,000. Here we go for 8,000. This would be Disneyland Paris. Most visited place in France. Okay. We're bouncing back a bit after having to use the audience on that sixth question. For 12,000 euro, I really think it's camper. I really, really do. 
Camper. I'm going with Camper, final answer. Yes! Okay, I was really nervous about that. Whew! 12,000 Euro. All right, here we go for 24,000 with three lifelines left. It's one of the R's, I think. Um, I'm thinking, hmm, I'm a little bit nervous about using these two after yesterday. That's 50-50. Yes! All right. 24,000. That's guaranteed once again. Five away from the million. Two lifelines left. Here we go. Let's change the fate of this week. We're going for 36,000. This is... I'm going to say Homer. Yes! I know Homer was the correct answer to a question in the Australian Game Boy Advance version, but I wasn't sure if, 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 if it was on this one too. I don't know. Anyways, we're now four questions away from the million. We're going for 72,000 euro, with, and I still got two life ones left. This is... Please tell me this is what I think it is. Ariana Grande. No, but I actually do know this. It is Sephiroth. This is funny. I recognize these names, but not... Because of Final Fantasy. Leviathan is a ride uh, from the uh, Canada's Wonderland. And then Nemesis, that, uh, I mean, that sounds like a uh, my favorite Star Trek movie. Uh, it is Sephiroth, final answer. Okay, this just got really interesting. 72,000 euro, still have two lifelines. We're going for 150,000. Oh boy, if I win 24,000 today. I'm gonna switch the question. This is a no-brainer for me. I have no idea. Okay, that's good to know. Here we go. Here's the new 150,000 euro question. Still have the phone a friend. This, this, this is incredibly easy. This is C, is it not? Declar Declaration of Independence. I'm not being stupid, am I? It's 1776. Yes! All right! Woohoo! That was a really easy question. Okay. 150,000. This this is this is actually crazy. We're going for 300,000 euro. I still have the phone in front. Don't, I don't know if I'm going to use it. Come on, come on. Give me a question that I know. Give me a question that I know. My game from last Tuesday. I played this game in English. Because it was episode six twelve and I wanted to try to win the million on another episode that that you know had the number twelve in it. And my five hundred thousand euro question, it's the same level, just a different money value, was what is the outermost color of the rainbow? I don't remember the other choices, and I don't even know if red was in that spot. I 
external. Was that not outside? Color. What is rainbow in French? I'm trying to remember. What were the other choices? Green, violet, yellow. I think I think this is the same question. My only concern is that is this the same question? I could phone a friend and see what they say, but I might. It's not gonna really matter. I mean, if I use the phone a friend, and they say D. That's gonna make me feel better. Maybe I can feel more comfortable going with D. Honestly. 126,000 euro risk, which is a lot, but I don't believe that I've ever seen, I don't believe I've seen the, the million euro question since I started playing this game in French. I am going to go with D, and I'm going to make it my final answer, and I'm going to, <laughs> I'm so, I'm terrified. D, final answer. Yes! Yeah! Oh my gosh! <laughs> That's 300,000 euro. I cannot believe this. We are playing for 1 million euro. Oh my gosh. Here we go, guys. This is it. The last question. It's an astronomy question. This could be anything. This question could be anything. Um, I'm trying to think. So Mercury, Venus, Saturn, uh, Earth. Saturn does seem like it's the right answer a lot, but that might be the other version of Millionaire. I don't know if I've had this question before. And if only I got that, if only I had the first million dollar question that I had last Tuesday about Tezuka whatever it was um, so I'm, I'm gonna phone a friend but I'm really skeptical like I don't I don't know like we'll see what the phone a friend says if they say Saturn I might be like hmm we're gonna call Andy Andy says Mercury this is I think I'm gonna walk I don't want to get the I, I don't like I was talking about this last Tuesday I really don't want to get the million euro quit you know I don't want to have to get the last question wrong ever again because it's so painful when that happens. However, I'm not losing as much as I normally would be. Normally, it'd be 468,000. Right now, it's uh, 276,000. I could maybe go for it. I want to go for it. I want to get this right. I, I like, like, I really want to win the million. I haven't won the million since March, and I had two guests with me. I won the million by myself since Remembrance Day. I'm gonna walk. I think that's the right call right now. I cannot believe that though. 
300,000 euro. That is amazing. I did not think, it, that definitely makes up for yesterday. Holy crap. <clears throat> wow. Just wow. 300,000 euro is converted to $300,000 and that brings my overall total to $38,952,820. Guys, that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I will see you all tomorrow to end off the week. We'll see how it goes. That was a great, great episode. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Peace out.